Digital electronics are pervasive across the globe today, enriching people's lives and making communication and sharing easier than ever. At the heart of each of these digital devices are semiconductor chips that provide the intelligence and power to drive the device. Each chip is made up of billions of transistors, the building blocks of the digital world. To build better digital devices and enhance the user experience, the size of the transistors must be reduced while increasing performance and reducing power consumption. In a conventional bulk planar transistor, two electrical terminals, the source and the drain, are built in the silicon substrate. Some dopants are added to this substrate to improve the conductive properties of the silicon. The gate controls the flow of electrons between the source and the drain. When voltage is applied to the gate, a conductive channel is formed and electrons flow. When voltage is removed, the flow is turned off. The transistor thus acts as a switch. As the transistor shrinks, the length of the gate is reduced. The control the gate exercises over the channel region is also reduced, lowering the transistor performance. Some unwanted leakage current flows even when the transistor is switched off. This leakage current has been increasing with every new generation of transistor and represents a growing proportion of power consumption. In order to minimize this leakage while continuing to deliver high performance, Bulk silicon transistors have become ever more complex, adding additional levels of manufacturing complexity at an ever-increasing rate. In technologies smaller than 28 nanometers, new solutions need to be found to reduce complexity while bringing the benefits of reduced silicon geometries that the industry expects. Fully depleted silicon on insulator, or FDSOI, is an approach that delivers these benefits while enabling a simplification of the manufacturing process. Unlike some other technologies, FDSOI does not change the fundamental geometry of the transistor. In FDSOI, the innovation lies in adding a thin layer of insulator, called the buried oxide, positioned just below the channel and eliminating the need to add dopants to the channel, thus making it fully depleted. Another key innovative step versus previous techniques is that the silicon on oxide layer is very thin. Together with the thin body channel layer, this technology is called ultra-thin body and buried oxide, or UTBB. So let's look at how FDSOI makes for a better transistor performance. On the same technology node, the FDSOI transistor has a shorter effective channel compared to a bulk silicon implementation. The shorter channel reduces the time necessary for the electron flow from the source to the drain, leading to a faster transistor. In order to improve the transistor performance, a voltage can be applied to the substrate. This method, called body biasing, facilitates the creation of the channel between the source and the drain, resulting in faster switching of the transistor. Thanks to the ultra-thin insulator layer in FDSOI, the biasing creates a buried gate below the channel, making the FDSOI act like a vertical double-gate transistor. In bulk technology, the ability to do body biasing is very limited, due to parasitic current leakage. The buried gate on the FDSOI transistor prevents any leakage in the substrate. This allows a much higher voltage on the body, leading to a significant boost in performance. In a chip embedding billions of transistors, the characteristics of each transistor are not exactly the same. One of the main reasons for this is the different quantities of dopants injected into the channel during the manufacturing process. In FDSOI, dopants usage is greatly reduced, thereby limiting the variability of the process. As a result, the characteristic of each transistor is closer to the average. This allows the transistor to run faster for a given voltage, since less margin needs to be allowed for process variability. An FDSOI chip is able to operate at a lower voltage than its bulk counterpart while delivering the same level of performance. This makes the FDSOI chip cooler with lower power consumption. 
Going back to the FDSOI transistor, we can see that the insulator layer efficiently confines the electrons when flowing from the source to the drain, drastically reducing the leakage currents from the channel to the substrate. The characteristics of the FDSOI vertical double gate transistor allow the creation of a new concept in processor design. Different voltages can be applied independently to the top and the buried gates, which effectively change the characteristics of the transistor. By choosing optimal combinations of the voltages on the top and buried gates, the transistor characteristics can be transformed from those of a very high performance transistor to those of a very low power transistor. A processing core built up of such transistors can operate as if it were in fact two cores, one optimized for high performance and the other for low power. FDSOI is a planar technology that reuses 90% of the process steps used in 28 nanometer bulk, and the overall manufacturing process in FDSOI is 15% less complex, leading to lower cycle time and reduced manufacturing costs. The manufacturing tools for FDSOI are identical to the simplest 28 nanometer bulk process. They are much simpler than those required for recent advanced processes such as complex FinFET 3D technology, which is totally disruptive from a manufacturing point of view. When designing a chip in FDSOI, most of the IP blocks can be directly reused from a bulk design. Only few analog parts need to be adapted to FDSOI, making the porting of an existing design to FDSOI extremely simple and fast. FDSOI is a scalable technology. It ensures continuity with planar process and design while improving performance and lowering power consumption. FDSOI is available today and the roadmap is already defined up to the 10 nanometer node. The 14 nanometer node is already in development. To sum up, FDSOI is an innovation that will allow the semiconductor industry to continue to deliver an ever better experience for consumers on next generation digital devices. FDSOI will enable these devices to operate faster and run cooler. FDSOI is a simpler way to deliver these benefits compared to other alternatives and is available for design and manufacturing today.